Hey, it's Pete here, and I'm back for a weekly free instant tournament. There's an 8-board BBO tournament that you can play. And today I really wanted to focus on discussing more about how I think about bidding. Most people focus on how many high card points you have, but I think that's only part, like one part to the bidding. I then like to think about hand visualization. What cards could partner have? And then actually practicing the play in my head before the bidding goes. So let's jump in and see, see this in action. So, uh, two spades pass to me, and I have a 14 count with a 1, 5, 4, 3. So to me, this is a pretty easy pass, I think. But let's just try and visualize a typical hand that you actually expect from your partner. Now, this could actually depend on, uh, well, it does depend on your partnership style of preempting. Um, for me, I'm usually a pretty aggressive preemptor, not vulnerable, but the robots are a little bit more conservative than me. So I'll try and estimate what I expect the robot might have. So uh, an example hand might be ace, queen, jack to six spades. Okay, that's like pretty run on the mill. And if I can come up with a perfect minimum that makes game good, then I'd be willing to give this a shot. So if my partner had ace, queen, jack to six spades and a six, three, two, two shape, we would have one spade loser, we would have no hearts, we would have two diamond losers and say three clubs. Uh, which means we might be lucky to even make two spades. Uh, on a good day we might be able to make four spades if there's like King Dalton spade on side or something like that. But for me I think there's an easy pass and seeing how we go. And you can see partner has not the hand that I was predicting, but also that four spades is definitely bad. So the general principle is think of a perfect minimum hand that they could have within the range of points. And if that makes game good, then give it a shot. Or if that makes slam good, investigate it a bit more. Anyway, here we are. We've got two club losers, a diamond loser, and a bunch of spade losers. Uh, they're leading hearts, so maybe hearts are 4-1. Um, but I definitely want to win and start drawing Trump straight away. I can't discard anything. They'd be able to take their clubs anyway, so let's win this. And the next question is, how do I want to play the spades? So we're looking at this spade suit of king, queen, eight, seven, six, opposite, stiff, ten. So we're missing six spades, including ace, jack, nine, to six. Um, so... Two options. Number one, I can run the ten of spades, or I can lead the ten of spades to the king and then uh, the queen. So, what are the different pros and cons of this? So, I'm leading the ten of spades. Let's just see what, if anything happens here. Okay. If West had played low, I would have had to guess whether to run the ten or not. But the fact that they covered this means that I believe I should be covering it as well. But... Basically, if I played spade to the king, and then that, if the ace of spades was on side and spades were three here, I'd only have two losers, assuming that I could draw trumps in time. Uh, if I played, ran the ten of spades, and lost to the jack, and then played king, queen of spades, I would only have two spade losers if spades were three, three anyway, or if... There was uh, like 4-2 with like double to nines, or if like the 10 forced out the ace or something. So I think running the 10 would have been good if it uh, floated on like that. Uh, next thing is what do I want to do? King of spades or low spade or eight of spades? So I'm still missing ace, jack, nine. Now if spades are 3-3, three, three, I've only got two losers anyway. If spades are... 4-2, the only 4-2 break I can pick up is double to 9, so I want to come out the king. And I can afford a diamond. Okay. And club. So we win that, and let's try and draw a trump. There we go with their clubs, and I'll just rough this and draw the final trump with the seven. And now my hand's good for making two. 
and 78%. I really didn't do too much there. Um, I would have considered running it. Um, someone made plus two. Uh, how on earth did they do that? So they won, ran the ten of spades, queen of spades, and the robot then just cashed the nine for no real reason, but uh, they still have like two clubs to cash. Ah, and they pitched diamond diamond, which then allowed the robots to go ace of diamonds diamond. So throwing your diamonds away allowed the robots to think, ah, oh, yeah, it's completely safe to. Uh, just not cash the clubs for whatever reason. Um, but someone uh, bid on to four spades, but as you can see, using hand visualization, uh, even if partners got like ace queen jack to six spades, which is a perfectly reasonable minimum hand they could have, um, depending on partnership preempting style, then yeah, you, you can realize that bidding on is not a good idea and you just want to leave it in two spades. Okay, uh, board number two, so here I've got uh, 10, 19 highs and a five card suit, but I've got Queen Jack Doubleton. Uh, so I nearly always upgrade like 19s with a five card suit to 20 to 21, um, but here Queen Jack Doubleton I think is worth enough of a downgrade just to leave it as a 19 count. So I'm going to open one diamond and rebid two no trumps if partner responds. Okay, so... Because I'm the one limiting my hand, I'm not the one in the driver's seat to say, uh, like, if slams on or not. I just have to sort of tell my partner more stuff. So I'll tell my partner I've got three card heart support. And I've got some spades. So I really do like the, like, they're trying to say that they've got spades, hearts. They're wondering about clubs, maybe. But we could have slam on here, but I think I should bid three no trumps to say, yes, I've actually got stopping clubs. Six no trumps. So they should be using hand visualization, realizing that I've got at least four diamonds, at least three hearts, 18, 19 points, to think about a particular hand that I could have. And we got a club lead, and here we are in six no trumps. I have a heart loser. I probably don't have a diamond loser unless they're 4-0. Uh, I can pick up 4-0 uh, diamonds if East has 4 diamonds. So with Ace-King, Queen of diamonds, I want to cash the King first to protect against East having uh, Jack-10 fourth. Because then I can lead low towards my 9, they can split, I win, cross over and then finesse again. Uh, in Hearts, if Hearts are 3-2, I'm all good. So I think I'm going to cash the King of Hearts and lead a Heart towards the 10. And I could test, I, I do have entries to test the uh, diamonds first, so let, let's play a diamond towards the king. Okay, they are 4-0. Um, well, I couldn't pick up West having 4-0, so that is okay. So the next question is, what to do now? So I have a diamond loser. I can throw the diamond on a club, but other than that, I can't do much. I could take a spade finesse. Uh, I could hope that West has singleton heart honor. Again, not that great. Uh, if East has four hearts, I could cash the ace of hearts and then lead the ten. I think that's probably the best. When West has a void, when West has four diamonds and East has a void, playing East to have a void, uh, four hearts seems very sensible. So let's protect against Singleton Honor there. No. So heart to the king. Okay. And another heart. Wow, so West had Queen third heart and four diamonds. So East has two hearts and. Uh, wow. Okay, so we're picking up the clubs, but I still will probably have a spade loser because I need West to have the king of spades. I could pitch a diamond and a spade. So. Whoa! <laughs> Happy days! 
Um, so the hearts all come in, uh, pitch both my diamonds, and making. So this was like a really good slam if um, if we don't get a spade lead from West. Um, wow, I scored 100% for that. So I am down one if they don't pick up the clubs again for me. So, firstly, six diamonds is also down, I think. No, that's cold. So, what can you do to six diamonds? You can rough the club loser. Still got the diamond loser. Ah, you can strip out... No, no. It's not obvious where your heart and diamond loser actually go. Um, but I guess you can force them up to do something. Bunch of people in uh, six hearts, which suffers from a diamond rough and a heart loser, which is unfortunate. But uh, six no trumps, I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm not really sure why the robots uh, let me miss defend this way. So this person set up the diamond and is just giving up, which is pretty bad play. Uh, here, taking the spade finesse, that's just bad play, so... Yeah, so I don't like any of their plays, um, so that seems pretty poor. Six diamonds, how did this person actually make slam? So heart lead, and now they're just cold, right? Yeah. So they played a club to the ace, and... What did they do? Ah, oh, six diamonds. They played a club to the ace and they roughed a diamond. Yeah. And king of diamonds, diamond over, king of hearts. Yeah. Yeah, so pretty simple hand. Um, I think they could have even done it better, like after the heart lead. So after they got a heart lead, it feels like you just want to just draw trumps and set up hearts. So like club, rough a club, down, 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 king of hearts, heart, and you're pretty good. But I'll take the 100%. I'm very happy with that. So at the moment, we are running in rank 1 at 89%. Uh, here we've got 10, 17 points, balanced hand. This is a very good 17 count. I am tempted to upgrade this one. I got a couple of tens, some nines, lots of aces and kings. Um, yeah, I, I want to try and bit a game. I'll open a diamond. Okay, it looks like opening one no trump would have been better, probably. They're thinking of balancing, but don't. All right, so. Good news, if I opened one no trump I would have played there, and one diamond might be better, although it's hard to say. Okay, heart to the queen, so West has actually led from the jack of hearts here. Uh, right, so I had 17, my partner's got 1, which is 18, 22 points missing. No one wanted to bid. They do have a spade fit here. East might have long diamonds, uh, but maybe trying to rough some spades is a good idea. So spade lead, and they win. And another heart. Okay, so which hand do I want to be in? So probably in the uh, north hand. I don't think roughing a spade straight up is what I need to do. So we'll just win that. I could lead a low diamond towards the 10. Start trying to draw trumps. They can get one rough, then I can cash the ace of diamonds. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, and they're rough with the Queen of Diamonds. Yeah, they, they could have roughed that lower. 
So it looks like East has a doubleton diamond and a doubleton heart. And still didn't bid on, so West probably has some length there. Uh, West has led from the jack of hearts. They've got a spade on it. They've got king, fourth, diamond. Um, if I put up the king of clubs, I think I'm prone to getting tapped here. So let's duck this. I also think the club's offside. Okay, so we'll win that. And... It's coming out king. Yeah, so the ace of clubs is there. I'm predicting east is like a 4-2-2-5. So we're up to four tricks. I can see a diamond trick is five. If I let them rough the heart, they might be end played. So who won the top spade? So let's just backtrack. I let the queen of spades and west hopped in and then... Uh, So I'll let them have their, their rough. So if I rough the like if I rough this I give up the last two tricks, so I may as well play low. And they get the club and down and probably a bad score. Seven percent, one diamond down two. One diamond did not play better than no trumps. Uh, so one no trump can be beaten one. One diamond can be beaten one. So what, where did I go wrong here? So heart lead and I won. So at this stage, uh, queen of spades seems fine. And now they continued another heart. And a diamond lead is okay. But do I have to put the ace of diamonds on? No, so jack of hearts, club through, so now I have to cash the ace of diamonds. So what does cashing the ace of diamonds actually do? So if I... Play the ace of diamonds, draws a trump, and then I come out the jack of spades. No. Then I come out a club. I don't know, that one's a tricky one. Um, anyway, I'm not upset with that. I still think that hand was worth upgrading. I wasn't upset that I was in one diamond. Uh, but... The fact that I had Queen Jack fourth spade opposite uh, Singleton didn't uh, pan out too well. Okay, uh, board number four. So this time I got 14 points, a club pass, a heart. Uh, this is a easy pass. Two clubs pass, three clubs. There we go. So my partner really doesn't have much here. So Dummy has 10 points, I have 14, which is 24, 16 points missing, let's say 12 with West, um, which gives my partner 4. And I can see 3 of them now with Queen Jack of Spades. Um, where are all the spades? So my partner might have 5 spades. Trying to work out what shape West has here. Singleton diamond probably. Yeah, and I let go of heart. So they're probably three spades, three hearts, singleton diamond, and six clubs. Uh, 
and we'll just draw the trump and probably get two club tricks in the end. Two heart tricks, sorry. So my partner had to find the opening heart lead to uh, stop that. And we got 53%, probably pretty flat all across the board. Someone got to three spades because they made a penalty double or... No, it's takeout double. Seems strange, but uh, gets your partner to bid three spades, which can only be beaten one. And a couple of people let a uh, couple over tricks, well, one extra over trick through. Uh, but 53%. So running in rank five with 59%. Okay, balance 15 counts, so I'll come in with a no trump, and partner is not interested. Okay, so some people might bid a spade on my hand, but I think one no trump play is just fine. Now, uh, my partner's got 5 points opposite my 15, so 20 missing. Uh, East is probably 12 to 14 balance, so let's say 14 and 6, because if it's 12, West has 8 and might double me. Uh, we've got four heart tricks, a club is five. I want to start building some spade tricks just by winning and pulling a spade towards my hand. So, uh, yeah. Just ten of hearts because I can still overtake the queen here. So spade up. On the top spade. That is good news. He says ace-king, ten-fourth spade. So let's just finesse there. This worked a treat. So I've seen two of the points with West. Um, still, I think I've got about six points. So let's just discard some diamonds. East has four spades. Okay, so East is still a balanced hand. Um, Alright, so East has Ace, King and Spades, nothing in hearts. And I don't know about the club position, but the opponents have to open up diamonds for me anyway. So I'll just lead a club up. This is just playing like a dream. Okay, 100% for one no trump plus three. Uh, that was less than optimal defense, uh, but this time getting my... Uh, I bid no trumps and it worked. I think the clue here is always bid no trumps. Um, there hasn't been too many hands to, to talk about hand visualization here, but uh, other than the first one, but uh, we'll see what happens here. Balance 13 count with a five card seal, open a diamond, probably re a no trump, but... Diamond a heart, double showing four spades, two diamonds. I can show rebittable diamonds, or I could pass. I think I'll just pass. Uh, the points are pretty evenly split. Let's see what uh, partner wants to do. Three clubs, four spades, four plus clubs, eleven plus total points. So, um, hmm. So I don't think three no trumps is going to make. So let's stay clear of three no trumps, even though we've got a decent hand here. I could bid three spades and try playing in a four-three spade fit. Um, I could also try. Um, I don't really want to bid three diamonds. I could also pass three clubs. So is three clubs where I want to play, or do I want to try three spades? I feel like my partner should have four spades. They should probably have two diamonds and two hearts, so probably five clubs. So let's try and play in our fit and pass that. What? All right, so... We got doubled here. Um, I so want to send this back. Like I've got such a good hand, but uh, I'll pass. 
Yeah, so partner does not have a three club bid, that's for sure. So good news, I did not send this back. Um, three clubs past four clubs. I open one diamond and I can't actually bid. That's kind of hilariously bad. The opponents do have a ten card heart fit. So West has lots of hearts. We've got 10 points up to 13. So that's uh, 23, 17 points. East has um, a decent hand. Um, West probably just has uh, good hearts and that's about it. But we'll play a club to the jack, try and draw some trumps. Yeah, so we're in some serious trouble here. Okay, king, queen, ten, fifth club. I'll just duck that, stop east actually drawing the trumps. It does not stop them. Um... Right, uh, yeah, we'll just draw another trump. They're just taking the discards. All right, is ducking this any benefit? I think so. Might cut communication. No. I got 7% for just that. Like, surely down 3 is, like, the best I can do. No, I could have got out for down 2. So some people are just in four diamonds, so they doubled two diamonds to say they got rebittable diamonds. Or they corrected their partner's three club bid to three diamonds. I think all of those are horrible options. Um, two spades, four spades. Um, I did better than the only other person that I think might have had a sensible option where there's one diamond and pass because you've got nothing else to do. Um, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea why the robot didn't want to try and play in our known fit, which has to be diamonds, because I have to have four diamonds, and why they would mention their clubs, which seems peculiar, especially after we get doubled. Um, good news, I did not send that back. That's, that's all I've got to say. 10, 16 points, 3, 1, 5, 4, so I'll just start with a diamond, and... I guess I bid two clubs. I was vaguely tempted by trying something like two spades. Uh, partner's correcting me back. I've got an invitational hand. So what's two spades here? Is this 14 to 18 total points, three card spade suit. Should round out my shape, but am I that interested in game? I think I've got too much concentration. Like, let, let's try and visualize a hand for partner again. Um, I tried doing that on the last one, but failed miserably. I thought partner had like a 4 2, two 5 but boy was I wrong. Um, this one, uh, partner probably has a Dalton Diamond, probably about 7 points, probably like King Queen to 5 hearts, and if they've got King Queen to 5 hearts and the Ace of Spades, then we might have 5 Diamond Tricks, a heart, and three spades, that's a nine count I was giving them. Uh, they could have king queen to five hearts and the queen of clubs and in that case we have nothing. So if I'm going by a perfect minimum then I think I should just pass here. Yeah? can't think of a good hand partner can have that fits well. So this hand might make three no trumps. Partner's got a maximum hand uh, hearts well and truly stopped, and even still we might have three club losers, a heart and a spade. So if the opponent started with clubs, 
we still couldn't technically make unless clubs break through through. Um, but here we go. Alright, so Eight of Hearts lead, so East has got the uh, Ace Queen. So I want to take a rough and finesse. I got entries with the Ten of Spade, Ten of Diamonds, and Ace of Clubs. So let's just draw Trump's ending in the North Hand, hopefully. Yep, they're three two. And King of Hearts, and I want to pitch these uh, clubs. Check our uh, Hearts break if they're four three. All my clubs go, but they're not. So only two of them go. So they'll get a spade and a club. Thirty-five percent. Um, I guess I missed a game. <laughs> Diamond, a heart pass, and no trump. I really dislike a no trump, but that's how you score nineteen sixty. Um. Other people, bit of spade. Now, this was something I was actually considering. Three diamonds I don't like. Yeah, so I really don't like all those no trump bids. Uh, but I was thinking about bidding two no trumps or something like over the two diamond bid. But as you can see, like, three no trumps isn't even cold on this hand. So if they get a club lead, they can get two clubs, two hearts, and a spade. So... Like, partner has a really good hand for us, and we're still down, so I think this is the good choice in the long run, but failed miserably. So in rank 6 with 54%, one board to play, and here we are. So balance 19 count, so I'll open the club, rebid 2-0. 3-0. No. No. So after I limit my hand, it's my partner's short chance to do the hand visualisation. And here we are on a club lead. Um, right. So we've got four spades, two diamonds, and a club. Now if Wes is led away from the ace of clubs, I can hop up with the king. And then that'll give me decent chances. If West is led away from... Jack ten of clubs, I could play low. And then my nine guarantees my me a second shot. So West actually led a club into our club suit. Now if I hop up with the king, it's playing West to have the ace and also the ace of hearts, because otherwise East wins and just leads a club through. So it feels like playing a low club is a decent choice. But it's important to note West actually chose a club lead when they had other passive choices, so they've probably got a decent suit here. I could consider ducking this in both hands, because I don't have another club stopper anyway, so let's try this. And we get a switch. That is a dream. So I could cash my four spades, but I don't really know what I want to pitch. I could pitch a diamond, but it uh, looks like working on hearts is good. I could, like, ideally leading hearts towards king-queen of hearts is what I want to do, but I don't have the entries, so... Let's just pull a heart towards the jack. Okay. Um, so at this stage, it's time to set up that club trick I ducked. And now I have the rest of the tricks. Uh, so 3 no, making 3, 39%, <laughs> feels like, um, uh, can't bring up the whole hand, but, uh, yeah, so I finished in rank 7 with 52%, if I hopped up with the king of clubs, the opening leader did have both of the missing aces, so I could take 4 spade tricks, 2 hearts, a club, is seven and two diamonds is nine. I still don't see where I get my uh, my tenth trick from, so I'm not sure why that was bad, but uh, so be it. Um, I think I played this one reasonably well and without much success. I got 200% boards, which were kind of bizarre. Um, 
and I was happy with what I like my choices. Uh, I think I was happy with all my choices, but uh, just didn't pan out. Anyway, this was the weekly free instant tournament. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and saw a little bit about hand visualization where you, you find out partner's point range, think of a good uh, hand that they can have, and then see should I bid on or not, thinking of if I can come up with a perfect minimum, then bidding on's a good idea because partner could have imperfect maximums, the general principle. Um, but maybe I'll follow on with that a bit more next week and see how it pans out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.